Hi, I just wanted to make a little video about the Buy Nothing project. I should start by saying that I didn't create the Buy Nothing project. I am not affiliated with it. I'm just part of one of my local Buy Nothing communities and I think it is great. It has really made me feel part of the community and become part of the community. It's just created like a little family feeling here for me. So I really wanted to share it with other people. And uh, keep in mind that this is my experience and my interpretation of the Buy Nothing project. So here we go. So why would you want to join a Buy Nothing group? Well, it's free. Basically, your Buy Nothing groups, they're different to your normal free groups because it's not just people trying to quickly get rid of whatever trash they need to dispose of and it's not about people just coming along and taking from other people. I've found that it's really about building connections and about having fun and feeling like you're part of the community. You get a real like village feel and you get to meet great people and kind and generous people and that is the main thing that I love about the Buy Nothing community in my area and I mean apart from that you get to feel good about gifting things you don't want anymore and you also get to find new things that you need or sometimes things that you want like this jumper for example I got that from my local buy nothing group so the group is actually great for stopping things from going into landfill as well as sharing and caring so first you probably want to know how to get into a buy nothing group I have looked at the Buy Nothing Project website and apparently they're developing an app, but I really like my local Facebook community, so that's where I use it. So the first thing you want to do is get into your Facebook, type in Buy Nothing and search and you find the group in your local area. If for some reason you can't find a Buy Nothing group in your area on Facebook, then go to the buynothingproject.org and have a look around. They have heaps of resources and there's even like here free sources. I haven't gone into all of them because I'm not an admin and I'm not trying to set up a group, but I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of the things you need to know there and create a group. I don't know about other places, but in my area, the rules are that you can't be part of multiple buy nothing groups. You can only be part of the buy nothing group in the area that you live in. Where I am, there's a buy nothing group that includes the suburbs close to me. And then there's another one for the suburbs a bit further away. And I am only in the group that is my local group. So then you click on the group and you click join and sometimes there will be some questions you need to answer. Keep in mind that they're often run by perhaps two or three admins who are volunteers. Nobody gets paid for this that I know of. Sometimes they can have a huge list of people waiting to join the group. So now that you've joined, what do you do next? Interact. You can give things away, you can ask to receive things, you can put positivity out there. There's a bunch of rules that you should probably check out when you join your local Buy Nothing group. A lot of them are common sense, like don't do anything illegal, no hate speech. Obviously, you can't put anything up there that you're trying to sell. You can't ask for money for things and you can't ask to trade things. And when you're asking to receive an item, it's best not to offer to pay for it because an admin will probably tell you to please remove that because the whole premise of this group is to freely give and freely receive. It's best to be generous yourself and to believe in the generosity of your neighbors and people in your community. How do you give? One super important thing that I think people who are new to the Buy Nothing groups don't realize sometimes is that the people who are putting up the free items are not required to give the item to the first person who comments. The whole point of the buy nothing group is not to get rid of things, but like I said, to build a community. And so gifters are encouraged to leave items up for say 24 hours to allow people time to comment on the items that they would like to receive. And then it is up to the gifter how they gift that item. They can select a person themselves. They can go to a random number generator. They can ask people to tell their best jokes. Whatever you want. You can have fun with it. 
And once you've chosen someone to give an item to, then you let them know in a comment and you can either ask them to send you a PM, a private message, or you can send them a private message and let them know that you've messaged them to arrange pickup. So how do you get items? Say you see something you want. It's important to remember that if you see something on a Buy Nothing site that you want, you're not entitled to that item and it's not yours until the person has offered it to you. And it's super important to keep in mind that private messages are only allowed once the person has invited you to send them a message. So you can't just see an item you like and private message the person. You need to comment that you are interested. And I found the best way to comment is to say, may I please be considered for this item or I would love to be considered for this item, please. Or something nice with a please in it or a thank you, you know, manners goes a long way. It's not a rule, but I think it's really helpful. Because it's not first come, first serve, there's no line. So there's no point saying next in line or nil because that doesn't mean anything in these groups. And just wait for the gifter to choose who they would like to give the item to. And remember, nothing is personal here. If they don't choose you, it doesn't say anything about you. It's just they chose somebody else. Another super important thing in the Buy Nothing group is respect. Respect other people and respect the gifters especially. So if someone chooses another person to give an item to and you really wanted that item, don't get upset about it. Don't take it personally and don't rage at the person because you commented first or perhaps you think the other person who's getting the item always gets everything. Don't get mad about it. Maybe make your own post asking for that item. I have seen before in our local Buy Nothing group where somebody missed out on an item and they posted a separate post asking for the same sort of item and someone else had one for them. So just remember that all good things come to those who wait and just put it out there. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's meant to come to you, it'll come to you. And if it's not meant to come to you, maybe another one will come up in the group at another time. So once you do comment on an item and a gifter has told you that the item is yours, then you need to organize pickup. And often the gifter will say, please PM me, private message me to arrange pickup. Often because you're not friends, the private message won't come through. The best thing is to check your message requests, which I will show you now. So if you click on your messenger button, if you're on the computer, down the very bottom will be a blue thing that says see all in messenger. Click that and then it will bring up all your messages. And then you can click these three little dots and click message requests. That will be where people who aren't your friends have their messages under. And sometimes if it's not there, it's worth checking this where it says see spam. That's where Facebook has put the ones that they really think are the spam messages. So that is how you check your message requests. If somebody has tried to message you or send you a PM, private message, and you aren't seeing it. Another way to check a message from somebody or to send them a message is to simply hover over their name and click this message button and then it will pop up so you can message them. That is if you are on the computer. So if you're on your phone, go to your messenger app and then click on your face up in the corner and you will see where it says message requests. Click that and you will see the message requests in there that you can check and you can also check the spam button section. And once you've checked your message requests and arranged a pickup time and place, generally you go to their house, but if they're not comfortable with it, maybe they'll arrange to meet somewhere else, then do make sure you turn up on time and do make sure you communicate. And if you're going to be late or you're not going to be able to make it, make sure you tell the person. And I know sometimes people forget because we all have busy lives. And if you do forget, make sure you apologize to the person when you remember and tell them that you forgot. What about when you're gifting an item and somebody doesn't turn up? So this has happened to me and it is very frustrating because it's a free thing you're trying to give away and you feel a bit let down when someone doesn't turn up. If you can find it in you, try to cut people a bit of slack. 
try to remember that other people have busy lives and perhaps that person had something going on that caused them to forget that one time, give them the benefit of the doubt. So if someone doesn't turn up, you can try to message them and ask them if they're okay or if they still want the item. And if you don't hear back from them, then if there's other people interested, you can just reply to someone else's comment and say, hey, the item hasn't been picked up. Would you be interested? If, if it does keep happening, it's not really in the culture of the group to name and shame individuals who don't turn up. But the best thing you can do is just not offer items to that person in the future because you know they're going to disappoint you and let you down. I feel like it creates a bit of a toxic culture if people name and shame them publicly in the group because you just never know what a person is going through in their life. If someone is really an issue or if someone has been rude, then you can privately message the group admins and I will show you how to find them. You can, once you're in the Buy Nothing group, you can click on the members tab and at the top of that tab, it will have a section that says admins and moderators and you will see the admins there and you can message them if you have any issues. But keep in mind that these admins probably get quite a lot of messages every day, depending on how big the group is that they are adminning, administrating, running. And also they probably have jobs and families and a whole lot of other things to do. So I want to quickly finish talking about the Buy Nothing culture because it is one of the most supportive, great groups that I have been in. It's a very different vibe to the rest of social media. I think that one big thing is that people think it's a culture and an atmosphere online where we slow down a little bit. So it's not just first to comment gets it. It's a group where people are polite as well. They're not just rushing to get an item or rushing to give an item, but people use their thank yous and pleases, which is really nice. And another really cool part of the buy nothing groups are the appreciation posts. So Sometimes people have received something that has really had an impact on them or they're really thankful for it and they put up an appreciation post and it's just there to thank the person. That's all it is and I love that because it just really creates that nice warm atmosphere on social media which doesn't normally have that kind of feeling. A great thing of the Buy Nothing group is meeting people and the people that I've met have all been wonderful and amazing and some of them have become friends. And I think that the greatest gift that I have received from the Buy Nothing group is not the items, but the feeling of friendship and community and like I belong to a group of people who are like-minded, kind, generous people, actually far more generous than I am. And I love that. I love being surrounded by people who inspire me and who are a positive influence. Some people have more need than others and some people have more resources than others, but everybody is equal in the Buy Nothing group. Everybody gives from their own abundance and everybody's gifts are respected the same as each other. So you give what you can and you take what you need and it's a wonderful group. So it's so much more than just a free group and I feel like people who treat it that way won't get the full experience from being part of one of these groups. I hope you can find one in your local area and if you don't have one, I hope you can start one. I'm going to link the website for the Buy Nothing Project down below and you can check it out, become part of the community, 